Hello everyone. I've actually forgotten which part this is now. Brilliant, eh? Um, I guess I'll chalk that up to not paying attention or something. Anyway, here's the next part of my Neverwhere project. Last time around, I did some expansion over here. And I caused myself some issues with um, not having enough workers. Now, I'm not sure why. It might be a transportation issue. Uh, no. It might be. So. I'm going to try making a bus line here. That may or may not help, but it seems logical to have a uh, bus line of some kind here. Um, now, I'm going to also work on the theory. Now, if I take a look in the demographics, I've got a low unemployment rate, so I'm going to work on the theory that I actually might need more residential. So I'll uh, do some uh, expansion there to building my crossroads here. And I guess I should put some some water in here. some zoning. Uh, I suspect, yeah, I'm going to need some schooling here. No, that's probably fine. should be good. Okay. Now I'll get things rolling here and see if that changes anything. Now let's see. Yep. Yeah. I'm looking at a population collapse here. I think I 
I think I let the population expand too fast all at once here. Anyway, once I write out the wave here, it should improve things. I'm going to look at the um, taxes on residential and see if that makes a difference too. I've got a large bankroll so I can afford to uh, run a deficit for a while. Okay, let's see. Massively high death rate there. Yeah, it's looking like I'm going to have to ride out the uh, wave of uh, mortality here. You know, this does make me wonder how real cities deal with this sort of thing. Is it certainly got to happen in the uh, real world? where the demographics in a area invert. Um, well, as it seems to me, it's probably happening in most of the developed world, uh, where the uh, uh, most of the uh, uh, native types are not actually having a replacement level of uh, children. I think a lot of the population levels in at least Canada anyway uh, are maintained largely due to immigration. And I've kind of been living on borrowed time with this city the same way uh, by the look of it. Like I had for the last several parts a, a growing population but much slower than the birth rate or, or rather much faster than the birth rate. Well, on the upside, tax revenue has, uh, well, my deficit has uh, reached about half of what it was when I lowered the taxes. Ooh, I got a plus two for, for the uh, population change. What I really want to do here is attract young adults uh, who are likely to form families. Is what I'm going for here is I want uh, I want the no the percentage of teens and children to be more than 15 percent of the population. I really want that to be more than the uh, seniors percentage as well, but at least equal to it.
and if it could stay that way I would uh, avoid the uh, the rolling uh, boom and bust on the population well, you see if we look at the uh, existing we've got relatively few buildings are mostly families lots of seniors over here okay Okay. Dope. Okay, so on the theory that I can benefit from more family-friendly accommodations, I'm going to extend my uh, low-density uh, residential zoning. This is, of course, going to require extending the plumbing. And here we go. <sighs> now for services. Should be okay. Okay, 
And I'm going to add some park. Okay. Now we'll let that go for a bit. Okay, let's look at the demographics. The number of children is increasing. Young adults has increased. Adults is 40% though, so I'm still not out of the woods there. You might observe though that the number of uh, zots here has gone down. So that's still not enough workers. I'm going to clobber these abandoned buildings. And we'll see what happens. Okay, now it would be helpful if my uh, budget uh, deficit would uh, shrink past minus 14,000. Okay. Okay, so I see that the seniors percentage is down a bit. Well, well, my unemployment rate increased. This is one of the uh, problems with these uh, 
simulation type games is that uh, when you get into a fix or a problem with something uh, you often need to spend a great deal of time waiting for the uh, for the uh, results of any change to actually become apparent and that's the uh, situation this particular uh, project is in right now um, if I zoom in over here well that's interesting the zots have gone so I may have just got enough workers in uh, for the most part to handle the jobs uh, or at least in the right part of the city so the uh, uh, the teens percentage has gone up children's up at six percent um, so that's a good sign I still have an inverted birth death number, um, though I've had a population gain, so it means I've got some people migrating in. Um, my uh, uh, my um, tax uh, shortfall is still. Is still significant enough that uh, I can't say my problem is solved just yet. I seem to have hit something of an equilibrium there. I'm going to um, do some uh, additional uh, expansion here, but this time I'm going to put some offices here. doing that just to give some alternatives for uh, employment uh, where's the zoning uh, and it should also uh, provide some tax revenue there is some demand for industrial and those then the commercial offices count as industrial in skylines so it may or it may not help they do want educated workers though so it probably won't harm anything my deficit can get down into the four digit range that would be uh, an improvement
Well, I'm going to actually go in the budget here. Now, I'm well covered with... Uh, well, I think I can probably back off the education budget. I'm well covered there. check on my education situation here. Yeah, I should be okay there. Now what else do I have here? Nothing there, that's... Okay. I think I'm overrepresented on fire and police here. So I'll reduce that. Okay, so that balanced the books. on the fire. Well, that still doesn't have it balanced.
Okay, how close am I coming? How close is this to a balanced budget? Okay, I'm going to close the budget panel out here. And I'm going to add in some additional um, low density residential. Um, okay. And this time, I'm going to include a bit of commercial with it. But I'm also going to include an overpass here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is build the overpass well, the interchange is technically an overpass would just be the bridge. Okay. Okay, so there's interchange. Oh, put my grid back on here. Okay. This is really tedious, having to go intersection by intersection. So I really hope at some point they do uh, work out how to add a uh, just go straight across feature. I understand them uh, leaving it off, uh, initially at least, especially if the coding is difficult. But as you can see, it's not that big of a handicap, especially when you're building grids. Okay. So now I need to water this. Okay, so far so good there. Now, I'll uh, add some education. And some other services. department and a police department and a bunch of these Japanese parks
Okay, so that should uh, improve some things there. Now, I will add some zoning. Put some commercial here. And some offices here. Okay. That should provide plenty of opportunities for new development to go with the uh, increased population. Now I'll look at the demographics again. Uh, teens are 15%, children are still at 6, so that's a good sign. Um, adults is 42 now, but seniors is only 21. And the births outnumber the deaths on average, so uh, that's a good sign as well. Ideally, you might want to go for pure sustainability, which would mean uh, uh, you'd want basically uh, st stasis in the uh, in the numbers there and no migration, but that's not the goal of this game. Uh, it doesn't exist in a vacuum, the city. It exists in a wider world. After all, uh, there is a world to import products from and export nothing to, if that's the case. So, so far, so good. I haven't quite balanced the budget yet, but it looks like it's coming close. Um, okay. Uh, I'm up to almost 107,000 people. I'm probably setting up for a population crash in the future again. But, you know, this is looking more like a real city now that I've got these large swaths of uh, low density housing. Um, it just seems like it seems to look a little better, and the residential to commercial and industrial balance seems to be a little better now, too. That may have been part of my problem previously. Now you may note that I haven't done anything with public transit in this area. And that's largely because I expect most of the people are probably working right along the highway here. And I don't have a significant traffic problem coming in and out of this area. So I'm not overly concerned about if my people are driving. It doesn't look like I have a massive traffic bottleneck anywhere right now, uh, which is pretty good. Okay, I'm lacking in employees over here. Uh, but I think that'll sort itself out as more houses fill in over here. Um, I think it's this stuff just overdeveloped too fast. Oh, something I noticed when I was looking at the education view is I'm a little shy on university availability over here. So I think that may help some. Now that could put my budget under, but uh, it should improve the uh, overall education level. Um, 
I do have a fairly high, highly educated uh, capacity there, so or or number there, so that's kind of good. Um, okay, so yeah, the population's still going up. So here I have three of eight workers. Okay, so that needs to level up. That's part of the issue there. But Okay, so far so good. I still have a budget surplus, so that's good. And the population's still increasing, so eventually this will fill in here. And these uh, lack of job zots will go away. Um, okay. Okay, so that comes up when it has less than half its jobs. Okay. Um, yeah. So far, so good. So this is a city with uh, almost 110,000 people. I think I'll call 110,000 the right place to... Uh, do the cutoff. Meanwhile, I'm going to restore some budgets here and see if that takes me negative. It may not now that uh, the area is filled in better and uh, the population's back up. It's kind of cool how you can actually see the flow diverting into the pumps here and you get a doldrum right in the corner here because I'm sucking out a lot of water here. Uh, fortunately, I'm putting it back. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm putting it back over there. Um, yeah, that's kind of neat. Uh, so I've got the water flow, it slows down, it slows down, and it flows backward from the, uh, somewhat from the, uh, the, the sewer outlets here. <laughs> but that does make sense, given that uh, I'm taking a lot of water out upstream. Speaking of taking a lot of water out upstream. I'll just make sure that I have sufficient outflow and inflow capacity. Uh, for my uh, city. Um, okay, so overall I think I've basically solved the problem I had over here. And for the most part, uh, the city's ticking along. Um, yeah. Um, 
So the demographics look okay. I've got roughly 20% uh, children and teens, 20% seniors, and the rest is adults and young adults. So that's a good sign. I've got a large uh, area full of families. Now, of course, these houses are going to end up filling up with seniors over time. Uh, but overall, not too bad. So, yeah. I'm probably good there for a while. Uh, so, what I'm going to do then... Uh, yeah, I guess the budget's probably fine and everything, so... Well, with uh, roughly 111,000 people, uh, I'm going to call that the uh, conclusion of the Neverwhere project, unless I decide to come back to it later for some reason. Um, it was basically, I've hit all the milestones in the game, um, and the, uh, the city's basically running and uh, there isn't much more other than expansion for expansion's sake uh, or reorganization that uh, I can really do here. Uh, sure, I could purchase a bunch more plots and go to town on expansion, but uh, it, it tends to get tedious after a while, so I'm going to uh, call that the conclusion of the Neverwhere Project. Um, it probably won't be the last uh, City Skylines uh, videos I do, but I, it, it, it will probably be the last ones I do on this particular city, at least for a while. I'm going to keep the save game, though, and I may come back to it later, depending on various expansions or whatever that come out. Okay, so that's the final save game. Now I'm going to exit here. So that's the end of the Neverwhere project for now. And uh, I hope to see you back for my next videos, whatever they happen to be. Thank you for watching.